What's up guys, this is JinxJK here. This is gonna be the first video of what's hopefully gonna be a full-blown series. You know, there are many videos out there that talk about uh, tier lists, item tier lists, champion tier lists. But in this video, I will be focusing uh, specifically on a particular build with an emphasis on how to transition from early to mid uh, into the late game and what you can use to substitute. So without further ado, let's go. Alright, so first I think I just want to cover uh, the strengths and weaknesses of this particular comp. Uh, we're going to be talking about uh, the Wilds and Sorks. It's one of my favorite builds. I've been running it a lot. It seems like it's uh, no matter wh when I want to try new things, uh, I always default to uh, this build. I uh, really love it. So. Uh, the main build uh, includes these seven units. So the, the build is done, the composition is done at uh, seven. Uh, Warwick, Nidalee, Cassidin, Ari, Shivana, Aurelian, uh, Sol, and Nar. So this includes four wild, three sorks, three shapeshifters. Uh, so we're going to start off with some strengths and weaknesses. Okay. Uh, for strengths, this build is not too item dependent. Even without getting, you know, crazy RNG with items or other people stealing it from you uh, on the carousel, uh, without too many items, you will be able to get into the top four uh, with this particular build. It has a very strong late game and it's highly synergetic with uh, the Nar. The you got the shapeshifters, uh, Shivana, Nar, uh, Nidalee. The attack speed making all. All of them get their mana faster and the beautiful thing about this is because there is no ultimate cooldowns um, right now uh, they might change that later uh, they can continuously just get their alts with the help of the speed buff from the wild uh, as for weaknesses it is a fairly fairly weak early game and uh, there is no real tank until you get nar and eventually uh, cho in that eighth slot but now we're going to be talking about how to cover for that weak early game and um, how to start off with the build so that you don't take too much damage uh, in, the, in, in the early game. Okay, so let's clear this out and we're going to talk about some possible starts. Okay, uh, so because of, as we said, it has the weak early game, what you want to focus on your first three units is to get something tanky. Now, by far, the best start that you can get is Garen and Darius. These two units are just so strong right now. If you get a Garen with a Morello Nomicon, your early game is set. Uh, and then the best thing to complement these two would be uh, Cassidy. Now, of course, as you're collecting these units in the early game, you want to keep in mind to keep on the bench, you know, the Warwick, the Nidalee, and uh, the Ari if you eventually... Uh, start getting that too. Start holding them on the bench because they are part of your final build. So as your first uh, three units, this is by far the strongest. We're going to talk about some variations now in case, of course, you do not get these units. Uh, so let's clear these. Say you don't get the um, you don't get the Darius, you get only the Garen. Uh, then what you do instead of running the Cassidy, you run the Warwick Nidalee. So this is another early uh, variation on the three-piece uh, three units that you can use. Uh, another one that I actually like is doing Warwick Nidalee. And if you happen to get the Rek'Sai instead, because now you have a bra the Brawler uh, bonus to help with that uh, early beef that uh, this comp uh, very much lacks in the early game. Uh, so this is another good three-piece uh, start that you can do. Now, say you don't get any of these, the other one that uh, is still very, very enjoyable to do is let's say you get the Cassidy and a Kha'Zix. Then what you can do as your third piece is add in Rek'Sai, and now you have three voids in there. Uh, Rek'Sai is giving you the beef, 
Kassadin. In, in this particular one, it's important that you have the Kassadin two starred because it will help with giving you a little bit more tankiness in that early game. And what you can do with this is on the fourth piece, you add in the Warwick, and now you have the Brawler. So it can look something like this in the very beginning. You start with, say, uh, Warwick, Kassadin, Kha'Zix and then you know add in the Rek'Sai, whichever one is two starred first uh, you you add in of course prioritize adding in this two star unit uh, rather than uh, whichever one you have one starred okay now let's talk about the strongest five pieces of units you can have because this is what's going to allow you to get to 50 gold and it's very important that at some point in the game you do get to 50 gold to start making that interest um, okay, so we're going to go back to the strongest variation uh, of this build and then we'll talk about what happens if you don't get those units. So we're going into uh, mid game here. So let's say you happen to get the very strong start in uh, Garen, Darius, uh, Kassadin. Now for your fourth and fifth unit, of course, you want to just add in Warwick. Nidalee. This is by far uh, the strongest five pieces that you can have at this point. You got your Gary and D Darius OPOP, uh, Kassadin, super strong early game, and you've started off the wild buff with uh, Warwick and Nidalee. And with this, you can start, uh, of course, if you have a Morella Nomicon on, on Garen again, that's a big priority. Uh, and a reason why the Morella Nomicon is not going to go to waste is because eventually what's going to happen is you're going to sell the Garen, you're going to get the Aurelian Soul, which is in the final build, and then that Morella Nomicon goes on to Aurelian Soul. Uh, it's a thing of beauty. Okay, back to the uh, five pieces. So quickly, let's talk about you know what happens if you don't get the Darius and Garen. What else can you do to uh, to get a good uh, five-piece unit? Now, just as a quick tip, uh, before you go into that five-piece uh, set, usually what you want to do, and what seems to be the meta right now, is that once you hit four out of five units, uh, let's say you have something like this. You want to roll down, it's on, I believe, stage 2-5, two, 2-5, five, two uh, when it's the it's the round right before you're about to hit uh, le 5, level 5. You spend uh, all, no, sorry, sorry, I think it's the, the round right before you hit level 4. Uh, I, I might be wrong on that. It, it's the one where it's either before level 4 or level 5. Uh, you spend all of your gold on trying to want to three star one of your one cost units whether that's Warwick, Kassadin, Nidalee, um, even Garen is completely fine and you still uh, can sell it later on to finish the build uh, but it, Garen if you get him three starred he's gonna last you until you know level seven uh, even possibly level eight uh, yeah, so you spend all your gold right before uh, I believe it is you hit the fifth uh, the Level five so you get your fifth unit to try and get the three stars and then this is after you get your fifth unit uh, Let's say you had the Darius now you start you let's say you have one three star uh, Two three stars. That's great. Now you start playing the economy you start saving up you get to 50 gold uh, using um, this early five piece unit and let's talk some about some other variations uh if you, let's say in the early game you happen to not have gotten the garen and the darius uh, another possibility is you can use the rexai again because now this gives you the brawler buff adding some beef let's say you happen to not get the garen you have rexai cassid and warwick nidalee then you add in the void buff in uh, kha'zix so these are some good, strong, early uh, five-piece uh, five uh, combinations that you can use to get to that uh, 50 gold. Now, at, as you get to that 50 gold, this is where you start focusing on spending the extra gold above 50 uh, to level up start getting to level six and then eventually start getting to level seven and as you're doing this the whole time you're collecting your Ari, your Shivana, uh, Nar and Aurelian Soul because those are uh, in the final build basically. 
So you've done it, you've got your 50 gold, you started uh, leveling up, you're hitting level 6. What's the strongest, uh, you know, unit that you can put in now? And again, I'm always going to use the strongest variation first, going into the weakest variation. Uh, so let's talk about if you had something like this, and you've hit your sixth piece. Uh, and usually it's gonna, you're going to hit the Shivana before you hit, you know, the Aurelian Soul and the Nar. Um, what happens when you're hitting your sixth piece, you can go ahead and basically you're going to put in whichever ones you hit first, the Shivana, the Aurelian Soul, or the Nar. Uh, for now, let's assume it's uh, the Shivana. There you go. Again, very, very strong. And uh, what's, let's say you hit uh, the Aurelian Soul instead. Well, this is where you can start putting in the Sorka buff. Uh, if you happen to hit the Aurelian Soul, well, now you can cut the Darius, add in the Ari that you're holding on the bench, and now you have two Wilds, three Sork with your beefy, beefy Garen. Uh, another combination, uh, let, and what I like about this is that there's five Wilds. We're forgetting about the one Wild in Rengar. So I do want to just bring this up because you can use the four Wilds, uh, when Rangar until you get the Nar. As soon as you get that Nar, you sell the Rangar. Yes, it's a three cost unit, but uh, you don't want to upgrade him to a two star. You just want to use him as a placement holder to give you the four wild buff. And what that would look like, let's get rid of all of these. So you have the Warwick Nidalee, uh, you have the Ari, and the Rangar. Let's clean that up. There we go, make sure that's not highlighted. Warwick, Nidalee, Ari, Rangar. You have your four wilds, and your fifth piece you know, can be Garen, it can be the Darius, it can be the Rek'Sai that we talked about. Something beefy, right? You always want to uh, make up for that uh, weak uh, lack of tank uh, in this composition. And uh, your sixth unit again is uh, again, something something beefy. It can be uh, what, what we said, the Garion Darius uh, to add in into that six slot. And you're using four wilds until you get that uh, Nar. Now when you get the Nar, this is when things start to get fun. And Rangar comes out, Nar goes in, and this is when you get to uh, really... Uh, uh, get to see the, the strength of the comp as we move between that mid to late game. Now, the Rek'Sai, we're going to hold it in because it's either Rek'Sai, it's Garen. It's one of those units that we have not taken out yet. Uh, so you, you prioritize getting in the four uh, Wilds, and then you either have the three Sorks with it, uh, which was the Kassadin and Aurelian Soul. And this is your seven piece set. It's missing the Shivana right now. And once you have all seven units, then you don't worry about getting to level eight. This is when you start cutting, unless you're extremely rich, right? There's always gonna be different situations, play it by ear. If you're doing really well, high health pool, really good gold, you can go to eight, keep that Garen in, go to eight and add in the Shivana, right? Well, let's say you're not doing so hot. You need to finish the build. This is where finally you cut the Garen and you add in your full composition being complete at level seven. Uh, so now we're going into extreme late game because the only thing to do at this point is go to level eight once you have your full build. So again, just a quick recap. You're always keeping in that, you know, one tank unit so you haven't hit the nar yet uh as a placeholder until you finish uh your build any one of those okay and uh so let's go uh, yeah let's talk about into the late game and quickly so in order of priority it is getting uh the sorks first the three sorks uh then after that getting in the four wilds and then after that getting the shapeshifters in that order Okay, going into late game, and now this is, you, you just get to have fun at this point. You can kind of start adding in whatever. The priority will, of course, be Cho. This gives you the brawler uh, buff, and Cho is just uh, OP unit right now. So, uh, 
best case scenario, your eighth slot is the Cho'Gath. Uh, after this, uh, I like second best, I like the Sejuani. Her ult is just incredible right now. Uh, so this is another tanky frontline unit that you can start adding in. If you don't have the Sejuani, well, then you can start adding in, you know, maybe the Kale. Kale is OP. The Yasuo. Uh, and what's fun with this build is that you can even put in the Swain because he's going to be taking benefit from the Shapeshifter buff, increasing his uh, maximum health. Uh, so let's go back to our primary build, Cho. Now, let's say, you know, you, you, the, the build is, is done at this point. You, in Teamfight Tactics, you almost never get to go to level 9. The game is done at that point, unless you happen to get a Force of Nature. Uh, otherwise, it's almost never worth it to level up to 9. Say you get that Force of Nature. This is where, again, I, I'm just going to tell you about some preferences I have on that ninth slot. Uh, I like adding in a Void to complete that third Void, either in the Rek'Sai, the Kha'Zix, uh, I think that's all of the Voids, unless I'm missing some. Yeah, those two. Uh, so if it's not the Void, then of course always the Kale, strongest unit currently in the meta. You add in the Kale, things start uh, becoming really fun. And as I said, you can always add in the Swain as he's going to be taking benefit uh, from that Shapeshifter buff. Okay, and to finish off the video, uh, basically I'm going to touch a little bit on items. Uh, as we said, for this build, it's not too, too item dependent. You will be able to get a uh, top four without hitting the nuts. And uh, before we go into items, uh, let me know in the comments below, what's the strongest uh, early game start that you've had? Not uh, depending on this particular build, just anything you've had. Uh, what's what's the strongest, you know, early game uh, start that you've had? And with, uh, is it the Trist? Is it the Pirates? Is it, uh, for me, I think I, I really like this uh, right here. Let me know in the comments below. Okay. Uh, let's go back to the full build and we're going to talk about items. Uh, by the way, this site I'm using, tfttactics.gg slash team builder. Uh, amazing website. Check it out for yourselves. You can mess around uh, how, like I'm doing now and try to make different builds on your own. But what's great about it is it shows you the uh, items that, uh, you know, the, the particular champion uh, is great with. Uh, so let's go back into the build and we talked about how the Morella Nomicon on Garen will get transferred to the Aurelian Soul. So let's uh, complete the build here. We got the Shivana, Aurelian Soul, Nar. Okay, so the Morella Nomicon, if you can get that as first item, that's going to be very important. Put it on the Garen, and then eventually that Garen gets sold, and that Morella Nomicon goes on. Aurelian Soul. Second most important item is the Gwinsu's Rage Blade on the Kassadin. If you can get that on the Kassadin and then possibly a Bloodthirster later, you're going to see some amazing things because the wild buff will be hit, uh, helping Kassadin hit faster and then so will the Gwinsu's Rage Blade, which and each time he hits he's getting a mana shield so as his health is going down he's getting a mana shield and that Bloodthirster then is replenishing his health it's a crazy crazy synergy if you can add in that Phantom Dancer you know we're talking about some high rolls here but it gets to be uh, really really fun uh, something else I really want to point out is in this build who is your uh, primary um, like ADC, your strongest, your carry. Who is your carry unit in this build? And that is the Shivana by far. You want to stack your items on the Shivana. You know, the one Merlinomicon on Aurelian Soul is fine. The one Gwinsu's Rageblade on Kassadin is fine. But then what do you want to put in on the Shivana? And the, if you can get, again, it's not too item dependent, but the Titanic Hydra is your uh, primary unit that you want to get on the Shivana crazy synergy she's already getting plus health from the shapeshifter buff plus she's getting uh let me see if i can hover i'm gonna go to items here because i wanna i just want to show you the titanic hydra 
and how crazy this this synergizes with the the particular build attacks deal 10 percent of the wearer's max health as splash damage so shivana is getting plus health from the uh shapeshifter buff and she's also getting plus health from the item itself uh and she's getting attack speed buff from the wilds so this item on shivana in this build is just insane insane if you get this uh, titanic hydra on the shivana with this build basically it's gg can't lose uh and then you add in you know maybe the where's the magic resist item uh to cover her we uh oh, you don't need the magic resist item because you have the dragon buff uh which uh i actually forgot to mention so let's put our build back online warwick nidalee cassadin Quickly going to showcase this uh, dragon buff between Aurelia and Sola and Shivana. Uh, that, I, I love this build, so it's very, very highly uh, synergetic as we talked about. Where's uh, Shivana, Aurelia and Sol, Nar? You got the dragon buff, which are immune to magic damage. Okay, so quickly summing up you got uh, those primary items after the titanic hydra on the shivana you just want to focus on attack speed uh the phantom dancer uh Gwinsu's rage blade is fine a rapid fire cannon is op right now uh any of those and then uh, just to uh, add a, a little bit more tankiness you want to get a frozen heart on the nar or a thorn mail uh, to, to have that on your uh, front line okay so that sums up uh the the entirety of the video if you've made it uh, to this point of the video just uh, thank you very much uh for watching i would appreciate it a lot if you can hit the like button and subscribe to the video and i do stream monday through friday uh, on twitch.tv slash jinxjk see you guys in the next video bye bye